we're going to get to the way that the weirdo Republicans are reacting to this. I mean, here, Chaya Rachik running with hashtag tampon Tim. You might be wondering why hashtag tampon Tim, because they made a push at Capitol to fund menstrual products for students in Minnesota public schools, saying that it is pads and tampons are as essential as toilet paper and soap in school bathrooms. That's why they're calling him tampon, tampon Tim. Bro, you're so fucking stupid. You are such a dumbass. Like, what are you saying? Like, what's wrong with you? How could this be seen as a bad thing? What's next, dude? Are you going to fucking yell at him for feeding children? Is that what we're doing? Yeah. Oh, man. Stupid ass Tim Waltz. He wants to feed our children with free breakfast and lunch, dude. What a fucking animal. What a bad guy he is. Team Trump is already out with a brutal ad against Kamala Harris' weirder? VP Tim Waltz. They're really good at this. And signing a bill in the law that requires schools to stock tampons in boys' bathrooms. Or weirder than signing legislation allowing... This is not going to work, man. It's not working. You're fucking a gross loser. This shit's not going to work. It's not going to fucking work at all, man. It's not going to work. Minors to receive sex change operations. Try electing the man who signed those bills, Vice President of the United States. Enter Chief. Conservative attacks get too over eager and try to cram so much rage bait into the point that you don't even understand what they're talking about anymore. It just comes off as conservative drivel, which I guess works well if you're already a GOP voter, but not much else. Exactly. It's like literally in what Jesse Waters did the other day. Remember when he was like, oh, the Democratic Party has actively become the party of Dylan. We understand what he's saying because we're fucking brain broken. He's talking about Dylan Mulvaney, a trans TikToker who was on one fucking Bud Light can. You are signaling to the most insane people in your base when you talk like that. But ain't nobody else cares about that shit. You're delusional. It's literally like, imagine a thing that is like obviously very top of mind in this, uh, in this stream. When I say top of the, everybody goes, oh, top of the hour ad break, right? But no one outside of this fucking community perks up when they hear top of the, like the way you do. But you cannot run a fucking national narrative like that because most people won't know what the fuck you're talking about. It's like trying to run the Democratic Party with Mao references. Yes. It's ironically what like a lot of leftists uh, that are, you know, diehard leftists who are, you know, activists for sure, who are always on the ground at the forefront of like um, community movements, right? Getting mad that like Tim Waltz, the governor of Minnesota, is not like saying we should Israel or something. Okay. Like that's not like, what are we talking about? <laughs> that's not going to happen. Ain't nobody that is coming near a crumb of power is running like that. Weirdo Tim Walls. As governor of Minnesota, Walls supported legislation that endangers minors, hurts women, and puts radical ideology ahead of common sense. Yeah, hates, Tim Waltz hates minors. That's why he wanted to feed them with food. And everybody knows what a good governor, like the governor of Arkansas, is supposed to do is teach minors a lesson about the value of a dollar and what it takes to earn a dollar. That's why Sarah Huckabee Sanders um, <laughs> deregulated child labor laws. He, he wants to hurt women by allowing them to get medical procedures. Sense. Now Kamala <laughs> wants Walls to enforce those laws on a national scale. Tim Walls, too weird, too radical. <laughs> Too weird, too radical. Yeah, he's so weird, dog. Definitely. I really, really, really do hope that uh, the Dems don't get scared by this and just lean into it. And they're like, these guys are fucking weird. They think feeding children is a radical proposition. You're gross. They're weird and they're bullies and they're scared. They're powerless and they're fucking scared. And they constantly want to get you to be invested in this narrative because they don't want to feed children. We are the party of feeding children. Say that. Run that every day. Waltz has done a phenomenal job running that narrative over and over again. Fox News has nothing on Waltz. That yeah. still matter, so let's look back at his record. Waltz's first executive order as governor was to create a diversity, equity, and inclusion no. council. He also supported... No. No, I can't believe he did that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I hate him. Open borders. 
you know, he talks about this wall. I always say, let me know how high it is. If it's 25 feet, then I'll invest in the 30-foot ladder factory. And he pushed socialism. <laughs> He's saying that walls don't do anything to fucking curb immigration. He's right. Don't ever shy away from our progressive values. One person's socialism is another person's neighborliness. Just do the damn work. Ooh. Oh, wait, and there's more. He said They're posting his dubs. They're posting his dubs. They're clip chimping him to shit. You can hear the audio cutting mid word. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. This is weak shit. You got nothing. You got no smoke. Sign an executive order protecting gender affirming care or surgeries for minors in his state. And in 2020, he was the governor of Minnesota during the George Floyd. Oh, they just skipped through that. Okay, got it. All right, great. Riots that burned part of Minneapolis to the ground. Yeah, it's crazy that they were like, hey, medical decisions should be kept between a doctor and the patient. Wow. Hey, guys, I'm so angry. Aren't you angry? No, medical decisions should famously not be kept between a patient and a medical professional who literally has all of the data and knowledge. It should be between a doctor, a patient, and me, random guy on Twitter. I should be making these decisions. I should be making these decisions, not a doctor and a patient. I, why am I not in the center of these fucking conversations? It's not between a doctor and a patient, it's me. Random guy living in Staten Island. I get to make these decisions. Small government, by the way. I love small government, except for when I make the decisions about medicine. It was so bad that Waltz himself called out his own response. Please stop shitting on Staten Island. Excuse me. I will never stop shitting on Staten Island, okay? That is one place I will never stop shitting on. You're out of your dang mind, okay? Holy shit. <laughs> Hell no, dude. I got a call from a friend and a dedicated public servant. Senator Torres Ray called in her district, and it was on fire. <laughs> and there weren't any police there. There weren't any firefighters. There was no social control, and her constituents were locked in their house wondering what they were going to do. That is an abject failure that cannot happen. If the issue was is that the state should have moved faster, um, yeah, that is on me. I like that he's like openly taking ownership of his failures as what like a good like taking accountability like that's insane they're making fun of him for taking accountability that is insanity dude <laughs> like that doesn't make him look bad dumbass <laughs> well, fo <laughs> folks <laughs> accountability has got it's woke <laughs> this man is taking accountability what a woke fucking loser